Paskis. Despite some controversies surrounding the Paskis without hand founding committee, it's hard to overlook the promising user experience it offers on a daily basis, at least in theory. What are Paskis? A Paskis is a FIDO credential stored on your computer or phone or some vault or wallet or a password manager and it's used to unlock your online accounts. The passkey makes signing in more secure. It works using public key cryptography and proves that your own credential is only shown to your online account when you unlock your phone or password manager or other kind of vault or wallet. If you are using passkeys, please let me know in the comments below or you don't use Passkeys, let me know why you don't use them. However, there is a hitch in my setup. I'm running Linux Manjaro and Firefox, which lacks support for non-physical keys. Using A2F support for uh, would compromise the ease of use that Passkeys promise, but fear not. KeyPassX CA has come to the rescue with its support for Passkeys in both its password manager and browser extension. KeePass 6C is a community-driven fork of the popular KeePass password manager. It's worth noting that KeePass 6C has undergone third-party auditing. Auditing is cross-platform and it's not written on C Sharp. Now let's delve into what it takes to make it all work. So if I just right away try to use passkeys on passkeys.io and I just click sign in with the passkey. You see this, there is a error in a Firefox. Touch your security key to continue with passkeys.io. But they don't have any passkey, any, any physical security key. Let's try to fix it with keypassxc. So let's go to download right so uh, the first thing that uh, if you're running on Linux you might think okay we need to and uh, if you look into Arch Linux uh, Pacman as I there is actually key pass but the problem is version is too old 2.763 which does not support key pass pass keys yet and we need 2.77 because this is where browser support and extension was added at, uh, for pass keys so let's go and download app image this is really interesting way to install applications um, but removing is whole other idea so let's try to like integrate and run. You can also just run it once. But if integrate and run, it will install menu item for you. So now you can see key pass entries. Now we need to configure it to first thing we need to do. Let's go to tools settings and enable uh, to, we need to enable browser integration. Let's enable browser integration and let's make sure we have Firefox enabled there and click OK. Now let's create new database. Let's name it Minbash. This is just for demo. Right now we need to install browser extension. We can get browser extension on Firefox extensions page let's just install it okay now we need to configure it we need to connect to the key pass x key right uh, and we need to give just a unique name for uh, this uh, for, for this connection let's say it will be demo browser Okay, so now we should have it should have it enabled. Let's just go to 
ask is demo. Let's try to sign in and we still have a problem. Why? So why we have a problem? So first thing we need to do, we actually after installing uh, the extension, we have to manually enable passkeys support. So we go to uh, extension and then click to this scope button and we search for passkeys and we need to enable passkey. So now what's left to do? Now we can just write and Okay, so I need to enter passcode. Yeah, so let's create new account. And now we can create a passkey. You will see this window and this will add, this basically integrates KeePass extension with KeePass password manager. So now we can just click OK. Let's register there. The party will be Pyscos EU and username a username and let's register right so now we see there is a passkey registered for this fight and here we have this in keypassxc we have this new group called keypassxc browser passwords and we even have passkey here nice so let's check what is inside how it looks like so in advanced we have this additional attributes which actually hold the passkey. Uh, so let's try to reveal it. Yes, yeah, so this is credential ID of the passkey. This is a passkey itself. This is a private key, which is actually the key that protects uh, your entry to the uh, to, to the site. Relying party, which is passkeys you username and passkeys user handle. I'm not exactly sure what is user handle in this case, uh, but as you can see, there is no actual password saved. Instead, we have private key. Good. And this is how you use pass keys on Linux with Firefox. Let's try to take a look how it will work on the other websites, for example, GitHub. GitHub, we go to settings security and there is a section for passkeys. What we can do, we can just add the passkey, right? And now I need my authentication code. Don't look. We're going through OTP, we can add passkey. Let's add the passkey and we see the same window and we just register. Let's say Firefox on Linux demo. Yeah, and now I have new passkey, so it's also requesting. This is how it's requesting actually your passkey to be uh, provided to the browser. Now we see two passkeys that I added at Firefox on Linux demo. And now we see there is actually two passkeys and another one for GitHub. And now we see like the actual key is completely different from another one that we used for uh, for passkeys EU demo. Let's go ahead and try to use it now. Let's go to github.com and sign up. Let's try to use passkeys, right? So we have this good button, sign in with passkey. And we have this really good passkey credential model. And it shows you what's the line party, github.com, right? And uh, GitHub passkey that we are going to use. So we have two options, either cancel or authenticate. What is important, this is not part of my browser. This is part of KeePass. We authenticate, voila, you're in my GitHub. See, it's not much work to enable passkeys on Firefox or Linux. Actually, if you already have KeePass or KeePass browser extension, for you, it, 
it will be really simple just enabling uh, passkeys feature in the browser extension. And as soon as you enable extension experience and seamless, resulting level of security is depending on your exact setup, of course. Thank you for watching and ciao.